Tom, how do you grade Joe Biden so far in his management of the world? I think Biden's done a good job at, at an extremely difficult time, Jeff, because the calendar says it's 2024. It's really 1989. What I mean by that is we are, uh, just as 1989 was when we defined the post-Cold War world, um, as set the terms and projected American power to keep it stable and forward, we're now trying to define the post-post-Cold War world. Um, and what will be our relations with Russia, China, um, and, and the other uh, great powers. And if you, if, if to put the Hamas-Ukraine war into this, uh, you know, the, the war in Gaza began on October 7th. And I always ask myself, you know, what was going on in the world on October 6th, the day before? And October 6th, uh, Ukraine was actually trying to join the West. Uh, and Israel was trying to join the East through normalizing with Saudi Arabia. Right. Now, had Ukraine been able to join the West um, in the form of NATO and the European Union, et cetera, that would be the biggest expansion of a Europe whole and free since East Germany joined West Germany. Right. Um, and Ukraine, biggest land army in Europe, biggest bed basket in Europe, biggest one of the biggest tech sectors in Europe. You would have had, uh, we'd been very close to a Europe whole and free. Putin understood the threat of that because he would have been isolated, especially if a successful Slavic Ukrainian democracy was in the EU in contrast to his Slavic kleptocracy. Right. Uh, so he moved to stop it. Um, at the same time, Israel was uh, negotiating with Saudi Arabia on normalization terms, terms that also would have included some kind of Israeli partnership with the Palestinian Authority. Had Israel been able to normalize with Saudi Arabia, it would be the biggest expansion of an inclusive Middle East since Camp David. Right. And Iran understood that. Iran understood it so well that the Supreme Leader this week, Jeff, told us so. He mm -hmm. said, we stopped the Israeli normalization. Right. So this is a big moment. It's a moment defining what will be the post-post-Cold War world um, and, and who will be the sort of partners for a, a, a world of decency. Um, and who are going to keep the world, uh, I think, fractured, divided, and, and um, uh, around less decent forces. Right.